and then and then the 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 focus was changed too like 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 um you know is I, I enlisted Scott Gobel and he said, look, you're not a classic guy, right? And he, goes, and he says, how many overalls have you been to in, in classic? I'm like, none. He goes, how many have you have you been to in uh, in uh, Men's City? I said, several. And he goes like, he's like, okay, is that not an answer enough? <laughs> I'm like, okay, fine, right? And he goes, okay, we're changing your training, right? So legs instead of twice a week is now once a week. Mm. Let's focus on arms. Let's bring mm. up shoulders and chest and mm. like, you know, just change everything. Mm. Uh, the way I ate, changed um you know like i was eating a lot of uh, fats before now, now it's like very low fats very mm. high carbohydrates mm. i like carbs so. <laughs> um, it's, you know. it's, there's a myth isn't it behind the carbohydrates yeah yeah. yeah and then um i'm not a big eater but yeah i can i can put away rice <laughs> you know okay. i don't know the asian side of me i don't know <laughs> i can eat rice um and then um do you know jason huin yeah yeah we had him on the podcast oh, nice. yeah. he's gonna when are we launching in a few weeks a couple of weeks, couple of weeks we, from America. Mm-hmm. We had him on the podcast. Amazing. Live. So we've he's amazing, amazing, winning Toronto. He competed with Patrick at yep. a few stages, yep. right? Yep. Amazing guy, really good. And he, what he does is he makes um, rice, <laughs> rice balls, yeah. meaning he gets the glad wrap. Yeah. He puts somehow the rice in there. Yeah. He ties it up and he, he's got balls, a lot yeah. of balls. Yeah. And then he's driving to work and he's eating it like it's an apple. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't do that. Like, <laughs> like these like bodybuilders, they're so hardcore. I'm like, you know what? I, I cook three, four times a day. I'm like, I, if I'm going to eat, like, I'm like, if you're going to spend the time eating, make it nice. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You well, know, like, I love cooking. So it's like, this is perfect for me. Oh, you know? like, what the fuck can you, know, you like, do, mate? I, I like, I mean, no, but it just goes hand in hand. Like, if you've got to eat the food, make it taste good. No, no, I'm so, yeah, with you. You know, like, I, um, I'm with you. I just, um, I never, like, I don't meal prep. I don't do it. Like, I look at that. I'm like, it's disgusting. Man. Well, know, like, I find that I do, I, I've done meal prep once and I saw the results from it. But like I said to you, I, I still cook all the time. I do mm. cook a few things and can do things quickly. But, I suppose you're very. I'm. I'm assuming mm. you're. You're quite simple in what you make because you no. know it works, or you're not. You're complicated. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't like eating the same food. Like, Jesus, like, you know, I don't like, know how you do it. So that's why. That's another thing that changed. Like, I, I've never done a macros approach to to um, Scott. Said like, what do you want to do? And I was like, you know, what? I've never done macros. Let's let's try that. So he would give me my macros for the week. I'd write my diet. I don't change like it's like I'm not eating like bullshit like pop tarts and stuff like yeah, that. Like you know, like they're doing like like. Yeah. Uh, you know calorie mathematics all day like i don't do that i just write write my meal plan for the week with that macros i'm allotted um and then just follow that every day is the same yep. until i get my next set of macros then i write the diet for that week so it's different each week is a different diet wow okay, okay. but it's the same every day for that week you know it's mean? amazing i mean well so, that adds that's quite uh, that adds a lot of variety so yeah it made, so, the, made the prep easy because you know like you, you know the the monotony of it day in day out like at least it was only monotonous for seven days you'd be a great yeah. coach yeah you would be a great coach because i think you i'm saying because you've been coached yes i think i think what in makes many you, different ways i guess i think in many different ways mm. what will make you a great coach mm. is is the fact that you've been coached you've worked with people you also know what what works for you and you also understand that your personality isn't like everyone else's. So the people you're going to coach, their personalities aren't like yeah. you. So you've got to kind but, of cater it to that person to make it feel like it is a fun experience. Yeah. In like, somewhat a fun experience to get there. Yeah. And also know your strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. Because like, obviously from science, like, you know, I'm a science guy. Mm. We know what the optimal diet looks like. Right. But if you can't stick to it, then what's the point? You know, what's like, the optimal you know, like, diet? In, like, <laughs> so like, you know, like if you have to have chocolate in your diet to stay sane, Right, you can use that as a fat source. Yeah, okay, and gotcha. that becomes your fats. Yes, right. Yes, yeah. Then you know you put it in your diet. You know, like if that means a couple of rows of chocolate a couple times a day, well, that's your diet. You know, wow, like you know, wow, like you, nice. Yeah, you, like obviously, like ideally, you don't like you have you know avocados or you know like mm. nuts or something, whatever as like, your fat source. But if that means you're gonna st- not gonna crack, <laughs> you know, and that's that's the reality of it. Mate, that is gold. What you just shared. If you get hungry enough, which is everyone on prep, you know, everyone's capable of cracking. Man, um, again, Dimitri Petri, he he cracked many times. Mm. He said he really found it hard, and he was overseas, and it was it was tough. And he's I was speaking to his coach, which was Scott Salesman. The yes. mechanic and he yeah. even said yeah he's a great coach yeah he's a great coach and he even said 
Yeah, the the diet, is, and we had him on the podcast too. Yes, he's going to be on. Yeah, yeah, so we've, yeah. we've had some good guys actually. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> obviously, changing coaches helped you. Mm-hmm. It was hard to it was do. Just different. It was just it was different. different. Okay. Everything was different. You know, 